I just finished recording this week's video, and I just sat here and talked for 26 minutes. So, I have no choice but to edit this. I wanted to do it all in one take. I was not keeping track of the time, so... Here it is. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Sadie bringing you Sunday on a Monday because I'm difficult. Thanks for recovering from me, Jess. Um, there's a very good reason that I am not even trying to present as female today. And it has to do with this week's subject, uh, which is steps in transition. It's because I'm not full-time. Um, I'm not even out at work. Um, I'm four months since coming out to friends and family. But, um, otherwise, this, this is how I'm having to present the majority of the time. Because I had a channel prior to the one that I've got right now. But, um, I, I had a horrible issue with uh, putting videos up. I would take them down um, almost immediately after putting them up. It's just, you know, as far as the whole dysphoria goes, I just... Me presenting as uh, male on camera just uh, annoys me. But these last two months have really been more about um, uh, soul searching, um, whatever you want to call it, and basically asking myself a lot of difficult questions. Um, pretty much, you know, why do I have to do this? Because um, I didn't go into this knowing, you know, one hundred percent that you know, hey, I have to have this. This has to happen. I had no idea the um, the kind of effect that is going to have on my life, where things were going to lead, um, just didn't know, just, um, you know, still don't really even know, but I decided to do things, um, in some type of order where, you know, I, I could live with whatever it was that I was doing, so I started really simply, the very first thing that I did was that I had my ears pierced again, um, you might be able to see them a little bit here, but these are the ones that I wear day to day, just little um, little studs. I can wear them to work um, about it, but yeah, there's, there is the, uh, the, you know, the desire to be pretty and sexy and all that stuff. Um, one thing that I've really realized and really toned down though since um, starting, you know, I, I do, I like to dress nice, um, I really do, um, but day to day, the majority, like if I go out on the street, you know, I go to say Walmart, for example, the majority of the people that I see, the majority of the females that I see, are basically just jeans and a t-shirt in me out. And actually, Sadie is one of the first suggest it one of, if not the first suggestion that was made. Um, and actually, it, it stuck, I think, ever since um, it was suggested. There was about a two-month period where I had considered everything else that um, we had all come up with, and Sadie just ended up becoming my name. It's um, almost as much my name now as uh, my birth name. So, I like it. Um, I have a last name as well, but I'm not going to tell everybody. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, there's the name. What else have I done? Oh, like Jess, I shaved my head prior to transition, or at least prior to coming out. Um, I say transition, but actually, um, there are a number of different stages. And you know, I still question whether or not I've really even started. Uh, I've done a really good job at, at shaking things up. I think before coming out, you know, I was really unhappy. It's kind of like having this uh, alternate life that you know, only you know about. And I'm not talking about just dressing up, but just the way that you relate to other people and as far as your own perceived gender role, I guess. Um, it's more of like having to, you know, I'm pretty sure you all are going to, you're all going to know what I'm talking about, but it's more of like a, a trying to fit in than, you know, ever really feeling like you can just be yourself. And I really don't feel like there's ever been a time in my life where I've actually just been able to be myself. Um, that's horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of funny too. Um, um, like I said, I, I would be all smiles this week, and I am. So, something else. Ah, uh, the voice. Uh, well, this is my voice. This is how I sound all the time. Um, working on my voice is something that I do it. I do it because I need to do it. I understand the importance of passing, but it's also very discouraging. Um, because, and it also, to me, there's certain things about this whole process that really seem like, um, let me check something here real quick, that really seem like a form of, and I don't know if this is the right word, but a form of deception, I guess, because there's a certain amount of trying to, you go basically from one type of conformity and trying to fit in to another, basically, where, and the, I think the voice is one of those, because I'm not comfortable with it. It's something I need to do. It's something I need to practice. Practice. I don't have the tone. I don't have the inflection that I normally do, and I'm I'm not at all um, confident with it. But it's something that needs to be done, and I've got all this time to practice, so I do. There seems to be somewhat of an expectation that um, you know, do more, be more. Instead of just finally being free to be yourself, there's a certain level of okay, well, now, let me see you be a female, basically, if you can understand what I'm saying. Um, I don't know, and I think that's part of the problem with initially coming out, is that there's this expectation, even you have this expectation of yourself to do more and be more, and I think that's where a lot of the um, going over the top of it comes into play as well. So, for me, the last two months of the last four months has been a lot of toning things down, um, really asking myself the difficult questions, um, I don't know, um, so something I would definitely, if you're considering it, get your hair removal out of the way prior to even considering going full time because there's no passing when your face is uh, swollen and you can't shave and the ingrown hairs and it's just it's bad news you don't want it so I just I, I've had so many things going on lately um, that and I've tried throughout the last four months I have constantly had week to week some type of milestone that's basically how I've um, I've set things up for myself is that every single week at least at least once a week I've had um, some sort of milestone, something to look forward to, even if it was just something as simple as getting my ears pierced. Um, and I've actually, I've actually seen that on the weeks that I don't have something to shoot for, that something, um, I I do get really down. Um, it's just, you know, I don't I don't know. There are plenty of people here on YouTube that have been doing this for so long that have so much in the way of good advice and are just basically fonts of wisdom and experience and that's not me. That's not me at all. Going to be, and it has been, um, fun doing this. Uh, it's been a good experience, will be a good experience. Um, I definitely need to sit in front of the camera a whole lot more than I do. I've really been ne neglecting my channel. Hopefully uh, next week when I come back I'll be able to sit in front of the camera camera more as uh, presenting a little bit more of Sadie, yeah, I'll put it that way. Um, but I'm doing this for a reason, um, I think this is really good, especially because I have neglected my personal channel, I haven't started from the beginning, I haven't shown everybody from the ground up basically, well I'm doing that this week, so we can see where things go from here. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I want to help everybody, but um, I don't know if I can. Um, I'm basically just gonna. I'm gonna show up every week. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna try to be as open as honest and honest as I can, and hopefully everybody can take something away from that. Um, you know, learn from my ex my mistakes. Uh, learn from me having a big stupid smile on all the time, which I don't see that as a bad thing, but